There's a new AI code editor out there, which is backed by Y Combinator. If you don't know what is Y Combinator, it's a Silicon Valley based startup accelerator. OpenAI was part of Y Combinator. All of these famous companies were backed by Y Combinator. So I think that's enough for the validation of this AI code editor. The name of this AI code editor is Python AI. And I have just built this simple AI assistant. I just gave it this simple one prompt where I mentioned that you need to develop a personal assistant chatbot using DeepSeek version 3 API key. Then I provided it API key. And after that, it just set up this project for me and then opened this localhost URL to run this app. Most interesting thing is there is a very detailed backend and frontend logs here so you can actually generate a very detailed bug report or if you just want to identify an error in backend or frontend you can just simply do that here it has this simple one click deployment option as well you simply just copy this url from here and paste your url in your browser and you'll see that i can access my ai assistant right here using this url anywhere on the web this is the first real ai developer and i think this is direct competition of devon ai which is world's first software engineer but i believe most of these terms are for marketing purposes but in this video we'll see how good this real AI developer is. After using this tool for a few hours, I realized that this is comparatively different than other VS Code extensions, something like Klein or Rookline. Just to mention here before we start this video that this is not something like Cursor. It works very differently than Cursor and it is not free to use, but still it is a good AI code editor. To start using this AI code editor, you need to download and install VS Code. If you are using Windows, just download for Windows. If you are using Mac, just download for Mac. After you download and install VS Code on your computer, just open an empty project directory. Next, inside your extension, just look for Pythagora version 1 and just open this first one Pythagora version 1 link and it, it will open just something like this and then click on install and then it will install on your VS code as an extension. After you will do that you will have to log in with your Google account and you will start your free trial and you will see something like this interface. Before you click on create new app you need to just do one more step which is just go to your settings and inside settings uh, you need to come to this GPT pilot path. It needs to install this GPT pilot on your computer and you need to so simply just select this directory from here simply just click on change and this, then choose a directory in your computer and after that it will automatically install that on your computer you can see your total remaining credits here when i signed up i was given two dollars worth of credits and now i consumed it because i created one project using it but these are enough to start and to try this tool and to create a couple of decent projects next you can simply just click on create new app button right now you can only create node.js projects so you can simply just click on this option and after that it will ask you for the project name just give it a project name actual assistant and click on enter and now what to do it will just say, like simply install dependencies uh, git is not initialized would you like to initialize click on yes and then describe your project create a virtual ai assistant using deep seek version 3 api key i'm not giving any other uh, details for this project right now I, I just wanted to like imagine what i want and then simply just create a basic ai assistant and next step that i will do i'll simply just copy my api key from here here's the api key i'll simply just uh, click on send you can give a detailed prompt if you want but i'll simply just click on send here and then it is asking do you need to authentication system in your app uh, not right now okay so now as you can see it works differently than other uh, ai code editors in vs code uh, so it's, it's just like comparatively different and it acts as or you can say the way it is working it acts as a ai developer not really i mean it just works as a human assistant uh, who's asking you different questions about your project and then now it is doing all of that in backend. It is not showing you any of the uh, like console details. If there are any errors in ins installing any dependencies, it is not giving showing you any of that. Uh, if you are interested to like see that, you can simply just click on logs button. But it will just like uh, like keep going on and and like keep installing everything which is required to create this project and without uh, like bothering you in that project. So right now it is creating building the front end. This may take a couple of minutes. So it has not like kind of capability to create front end separately than back end separately now like it has a different approach towards developing uh, things other than like uh, other ai code editors so it's just like a different approach i'm not saying if it's a good or bad but it's a different approach if you ask me for an opinion i will still stick with cursor and this is i know this is not a direct competitor of cursor this is kind of a direct competitor of devon ai which is right now for 500 dollars per month but uh, this is direct competitor of devon ai because the way it works is different than uh, cursor or any other traditional AI code editors it mostly just act as your ai coding assistant who is just like developing things on background while 
you have given it a prompt and now it just created that and now it will it has just opened this uh, URL for us it will open that on localhost Chrome is being controlled by automated test software so that is I have Chrome has actually given that because it, it automatically opened this for me so I am powered by okay so yeah perfect it has created this uh, basic AI assistant I am powered by deep seek and can assist task right writing analysis what's your name and what are your specialties this is ask it a weird question I'm happy to help you with any questions or a task you have perfect so you can then ask it like anything that you want but yeah this was just like proof of concept so so far uh, like this is how it works and then it will ask you like okay backend is uh, backend logs are attached and logs are attached you can just go to your log you can see your backend logs you can see your frontend logs and now if you want to deploy simply just click on this deploy button I have already deployed one project here so that's how it is like giving me inside because I'm logged into my account so it is giving me that project as well but you can simply just click on deploy button and now it will just uh, yeah I'm actually reached maximum number of deployments because in free plan it just gives you one deployment so I have already done that and if you want to see like my previous deployment you can simply just copy this URL from here and just paste it in your browser and it will open my virtual AI assistant that I created and then I deployed so now this URL you can use wherever you want if you don't have a custom domain on their website they have given these really interesting case studies that who this tool is for the first one is low code agency so if you are running a low code agency so you can use this tool so they have given this case study then there is a empowering automation and disease research so you can use that and then there is a how Pythagora transformed internal operations in the logistics industry so they can use that as well then there is a Colorado digital agency so they actually used this Pythagora tool as well to transform their uh, like the way they actually develop softwares so yeah it is helpful in different niches so it's a good AI coding assistant it's different from what we already have in in terms of like client or rook line or like github copilot uh, this is not even close to cursor AI cursor AI is like completely different side completely different niche uh, this niche is actually more towards AI coding assistants who are actually uh, writing code on background I mean you give them tasks and then they like uh, they can like uh, work on those tasks on backend without bothering you in that process because in cursor there is human in loop in here there is no human in loop uh, it's just like write codes uh, code on, on its end which is like a good competitor of Devon AI which because Devon AI right now is like expensive super expensive they are charging like $500 per month because they believe that it's a it's a real human it has capability of replacing a real, real human software engineer which I don't believe it does because all of the people who have like tested Devon actually uh, they are not satisfied by its performance uh, if you and I like use a good cheaper alternative of Devon and it can act as like it can still like keep you in loop and develop something nice so I'll keep an eye on this project in future and I'll see like what it will bring in future but so far I'm like kind of impressed by its performance and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel or go is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of June 2025. I see you next video. Bye bye.